Piers Morgan has taken to Twitter to blast criticism of Queen Elizabeth II, following her death at Balmoral Castle today. The talk TV host, 57, took to the platform to pay tribute to the head of the monarchy, but swiftly took aim at Professor Ruju Anya for her comments following the head of the royal family's death. In view of his 7.9 million followers, the former Good Morning Britain host paid tribute to the royal. He wrote, Breaking news, RIP Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, 96. The greatest monarch in history, and the greatest of Britons. Dignified, humble, wise, stoic, and dedicated to duty and service to the country she loved. Thank you for everything, ma'am. We will be forever indebted to you, he added. In a later post, the star went on to blast a professor for their post following the Queen's death. Ujuanya wrote, I heard the chief monarch of a thieving raping genocidal empire is finally dying. May her pain be excruciating, she added. Piers swiftly reacted, retweeting the post, writing, You vile disgusting moron. The nation's longest reigning monarch, Queen Elizabeth II passed away aged 96 at her private royal residence in the Scottish Highlands, one of her favourite places, surrounded by close family who rushed to be at her side. The Prince of Wales is now king having acceded to the throne immediately on the death of his mother. In a statement, the palace said, the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. Tributes to the monarch from all over the world began to pour in following the announcement. Britain will enter a period of national mourning for the Queen, who dedicated her life to royal duty. The long-held so-called London Bridge plans for the coming days and the Queen's state funeral will now be put in place, as will the contingency element Operation Unicorn for a death in Scotland. The Queen is expected to lie in state in a few days' time, with her funeral held in Westminster Abbey in central London in around 10 days. Earlier today, the palace shared a rare update saying doctors were concerned about the head of state's health. A palace spokesman said in a statement just after 12. 30 p.m., following further evaluation this morning, the Queen's doctors are concerned for Her Majesty's health and have recommended she remain under medical supervision. The Queen remains comfortable and at Balmoral. Prince Charles, the Duchess of Cornwall, Prince William, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, Prince Edward and the Countess of Wessex all headed to be at the Queen's bedside. Prince Harry, who is currently in the UK with Meghan Markle as part of a mini European tour, also travelled to Balmoral to be with his grandmother while the Duchess stayed behind. She may join her husband at a later point. Meanwhile, the Duchess of Cambridge remained in Windsor with Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis who had their first full day at their new school today.